What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Junkyard Breaks. Today is a breakdown of everything that I got in uh, the hours before Big Apple Con and uh, the hours after Big Apple Con, and I'll explain later. But uh, let's see what we got. So, before we went to Big Apple Con, um, as you guys know, I sell at Meadowlands Flea Market. I ha I'm in for April. You guys will see me April 2nd is my first day selling at the flea market. Um, it's going to be cold, but it's going to be fun. And I'm back for April. There's five Saturdays in April. I will be there for every Saturday, unless it's raining. <laughs> but I will be there for April. 12.55 is my booth. If the stadium is at your back, I am on the left side, um, halfway up. So look for me, 12.55. Um, but we did go to the flea market and walked around before I purchased my booth for the month. And this is what we got. So um, there was really only one stop on the tour. This was for $8. It is a Spawn trade paperback, number one. Um, this is, uh, I don't know, probably on the inside it'll say. Um, usually it says it on the back. It says printed, Spawn, whatever, through whatever. I have no idea. Um, this is probably the first 12 issues it looks like. Um, but this is Spawn trade paperback number one volume one and of course you can't ever go wrong with a watchman um, this is watchman this is the full series um, I have a bunch of these I, th I keep getting them in collections but for uh, a dollar um, I could sell these for ten bucks all day long and last but not least for a dollar um, this is a a, a reprint um, this is 50 cents. I don't know what the original said. Maybe 10 cents. Um, but this is a reprint of the very first Playboy with Marilyn Monroe. I obviously can't open it up for you, but you know you can search for it on Google. It does have a little tear down here, but uh, for a dollar, why not? This is really cool. I'll probably give it a, a press, um, and uh, it's got to be worth something. It's got to be worth a buck. But anyway, I thought. Uh, all three of these were eight dollars, so maybe I spent a dollar, and I think um, it was like two and three or whatever. No, three and four, whatever. It was a pretty good deal. Next, um, let's see. So next, we went to um, Big Apple Con. I've never been. It was at the New Yorker Hotel. It was like right by Times Square. Um, it was pretty pretty dense um, there was uh, two rooms um, tightly packed and like a balcony that you can walk around with some um, not just comics but some like crafts and stuff some some non sports some interesting things um, but it was kind of cool I've never done that before Big Apple Con was interesting I had a better time there than I did at King Con not that King Con wasn't a, a good show uh, just that, um, I, obviously, I got better deals here. Um, so let's go over what I got. Um, so the news had come out um, the Friday before Big Apple Con that um, they are going to go with a um, uh, Richard Ryder, a um, or a Sam Alexander Nova. They're gonna, they're finally going to tackle the Nova Corps. I've been talking about this book for a long time. Um, this one uh, was not 125. Uh, he came down to 75 because I noticed a brown spot right here. Obviously, I'm gonna try to get that out of there. Um, but for 75 bucks, I could not pass this up. It was a pretty good deal. It's a nice shape, shape otherwise. So, Man Cold Nova number one. This is the first appearance of um, Richard Ryder. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be. This is a huge buck. This is. Like I've been saying, this one, Howard the Duck, uh, Man Thing, like these are all books that are going to start moving now that all the big boys are just too far out of reach. But yeah, this is a good one. Um, I got this book, Doctor Strange 172, this great Dormammu cover. 
Um, I picked this up for ten bucks. I, I really love that the colors are just pop on this. I had I just loved it. So um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't expensive. Great cover. Um, so this was uh, anything with the red sticker. They were um, five dollars each, or what was it? Five for twenty. So I think I got five for twenty bucks. So I got the Mighty Avengers 13. Um, I got two of these. I got Voltron number two. Um, this was in really nice shape. Um, Rise of the Midnight Suns. I got Morbius number one. Uh, the second copy, and then I got Excalibur number one. But for five bucks, is a pretty good deal. This is a really nice copy too. I've been picking these up. Then um, this was in a two dollar box. Uh, New Avengers number four, first Maria Hill, nice Finch cover. Um, I've been picking up these a lot lately. Anything under ten dollars, I'll, I'll typically get. Um, Maria Hill is not a monster character. She's been around for a while, so this book ha isn't exactly going anywhere because she's she's been in the MCU for a long time now. Um, but I have a feeling that it'll steadily climb. Not uh, uh, this book won't pop anymore, but steady climb, slow and steady. Um, and then this uh, deal I got for one twenty-five. I got another copy of Nova One, and I did get X Men sixty-two. This is the first appearance of the Savage Land. Um, I do think they're going to do Kazar and Sheena and Mandrill and uh, Sauron. Um, there's going to be a lot of Savage Land coming. Not soon, but probably in Wave 5. Um, you'll see some of that. So, uh, X-Men number 62 is the first Savage Land. And this was a nice one to grab. I think I did grab another one, too. So that was that. That was this was another booth. So uh, it was at 125 for these two. Um, next group was a good group too. So this, you won't believe, you won't believe what I got. So these were, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. They were <laughs> twenty dollars each, or three for fifty, right? three for fifty so no twenty five dollars each or three for fifty yeah so you won't believe what I got three for fifty twenty dollars or no three for fifty I don't even know what that divide by a little over what seventeen bucks each seventeen dollars each let's just say I got <laughs> king size annual number ten first rogue for seventeen dollars Submariner 38, Origin of Submariner. I got Long Shot 1. I got Red Sonya 1. I got another, which I paid $50 for that one or close to. I got an even nicer copy X Men 62, First Savage Land. These are all $17. I got Puma, Amazing Spider Man 257 great book the rose I got the <laughs> first Captain Marvel Marvel 17 bucks and tales to astonish 49 giant man first giant man I mean it's beat up but 17 bucks is a <laughs> is a great deal for this book this book is insanely cheap um, even if this comes back like a, a two five a three, I mean, I I think it's well well worth um, seventeen dollars. Uh, I'll probably I'll put up the comps on this one too because this pile for the comps, I just want to see how I made out. But for seventeen whatever, I, I mean, is that the math? Um, <laughs> so I paid. Let's see. I paid fifty bucks. Divided by eight, right? That can't be right. Six dollars and twenty-five cents? No, a hundred dollars. I'm sorry. A hundred dollars divided by eight. That's my right. Twelve fifty. Twelve fifty a book. Crazy, crazy, crazy. 
So that's that. I'll show you the comps later on those. This one's going to be a monster. So that was Big Apple Con in a nutshell. Um, after uh, Big Apple Con, oh, which was nice. Oh, there's another. There's another thing. So my friend Jimmy, who you've seen in our live chat, he's a big Isad Ribic fan. Um, if you've seen my videos in the past, you know that I got Black Panther number four, uh, an Isad Ribic. He it's a preliminary sketch of the cover. I paid eighty five dollars for it. This is the cover of first appearance of Shuri. Um, and uh, I just want to get it bona fide. I just wanted to get it like signed by Isad Ribic. He recognized it. He remembered making this 20 years ago. I guess it's like 20 years ago. Um, he signed this, and uh, now it's official. This is a uh, signed Isad Ribic sketch of Black Panther 4, the first appearance of Shuri. I think. I even um, sent this to Golden Age Guru, and he he thought it was pretty impressive too. Like I think this is a monster. Like this isn't obviously a published cover, but it's a sketch of a very key book. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm thrilled with this. I'm glad he, you know we got to chat about it. I'm also so happy he signed it. Um, this is so cool. So anyway, um, that was it for Big Apple Con. We had a really good time. Um, that was a good show, like I said, very dense, but uh, it was it was a lot of Golden Age, more Golden Age than I've ever seen. Um, I had in my hands a uh, second appearance of Iron Man. It was a beater copy. Um, I was not willing to spend more than 200 bucks. It did look like it had a modern staple on the top. I did not like that. Um, and I did want to have it graded, and if it came back restored, it would have been, it's not worth it. So I balked on it. He wanted 270 I, I was firm at 200 I didn't like that staple, and uh, I didn't get it. Sometimes you just, you can't pull the trigger. And I did not feel comfortable with that one. So that was it. Um, so next we went from, because uh, we were around the corner, we are going to go to Midtown, and then it started raining, so we decided not to because um, we were walking um, so we went to uh, Paradox Comics in North Jersey um, I like stopping in there um, I've been there a couple times now and, and they're fun um, nice group of guys real good to talk to and I actually ran into one of my customers um, from the flea market there so that was kind of cool um, so I grabbed a couple things I, these are really nice condition I grabbed the 1975 Topps uh, Marvel stickers this is a really nice example of the thing um, really nice seven bucks for that and the man thing also very sharp nice condition um, just tiny bit OC otherwise I'd probably have this graded um, eight dollars for that that'll go in my collection so uh, this is what I grabbed from Paradox I grabbed another um, Star Wars 16 first appearance of Carther Nat no is it not Carther Nassie is it just Valance the Hunter he does have a first name, I forgot, but Valance. I, I'm big on him because he is the main protagonist in... Uh, antagonist? Protagonist. In uh, Star Wars Bounty Hunters, the new series. Um, this is his first appearance in the 78 series. And I do really think that um, they might build a live-action thing around him or introduce him into Boba Fett. But I think um, Valance uh, is a good character to spec on. He's super cheap didn't even pay $20 for this um, but this was a nice one to grab so Star Wars number two this is the first appearance of Santa Staros um, she could potentially be a big character in like an Afra series if they do something with her but um, then this is number six um, this is a uh, third print but this is uh, Santa Solo um, this is when she fake marries Han Solo um, so um, I forgot what they're going after. I do have to read that again. Um, but this is when she fake marries Han Solo, Han Solo and becomes Stan, uh, Santa. Oh my God, Santa Solo. <sighs> Star Wars 14. This is the Chewbacca uh, Black Kersantan, uh Vader down uh, fight cover. I love this cover. Did not pay 15. I got a bit of a discount on these. I got this. I don't have this book, so I'm glad I got it now. Uh, Marvel Team Up 65. This is the uh, first appearance of 
uh, Captain Britain in U.S. comics. I actually have his uh, first appearance. It's a, a U.K. magazine, a Captain Britain magazine. Very cool. It comes with like a, a, ma a paper mask. Um, and they're hard to find in high grade complete, which mine is a 9.2 or a 9.4. It's really nice. Um, but this is Marvel Team Up, um, number 65, first appearance in U.S. comics of uh, Captain, Br Captain Britain. And then I had to get another one of these. Um, this is Kanan, number 6, first appearance of um, uh, Ezra and um, Sabine Wren. Um, so yeah, this is a big, big book. This book is gonna, because they are gonna be in, um, Ahsoka show. Um, they're already cast, so, uh, this book is just gonna keep going and going and going, and, uh, I do want to get a couple more of these. I think this is my third copy, but I do want to get more if I can get them cheap. Um, so anyway, that's what I got at Paradox. I did get a couple things in the mail. I did get, I mean, this now we're off the sports cards, but I got a uh, Francisco Alvarez. This is a Bowman, uh, a Bowman Auto, first Bowman Auto. Uh, this kid is a monster. He's going to be really good. He's a catcher for the Mets, a prospect. He's not going to be up this year, but he'll be up soon. And uh, this kid can, can bat. He actually threw in another one of these, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so I got that one, Francisco Alvarez. This card is a beast. Um, so yeah, if you're into sports cards, Francisco Alvarez is a good buy. Um, this one for 10 bucks, I got a Elston Howard trio of cards. This is the 61 batting leaders. I got this, uh, this is a 64 tops Elston Howard. And this, I guess it's just like a, a postcard. But I thought that was really cool. All this for 10 bucks, I thought it was a great deal. Um, and then at the flea market, I forgot, um, this Tom Brady second year was just sitting in a box. It's mint, perfect condition. Um, I paid a dollar for that. And on the back is a, uh, which you can't see is a 79 Munson, which is also, come on, it's beautiful. There we go. So yeah, we got the second year, and then we got the, uh, it's a little off-center, but man, is it sharp. It's 79 months then, months, and it's got to be one of his last cards, if not his last card. But yeah, it's a nice card. That I paid a couple bucks for. But anyway, just saw those in a box. I wish I had time to dig, because um, there was some nice cards in there, some hidden treasure. And that was at Joey's table, so if you ever go to the flea market... Um, Joey usually has like records and comics and toys and he's got all sorts of stuff and he always has a, a constant uh, flow of comics and cards and records um, and then of course on the bottom here I got this Miss Marvel number 12 variant edition which I love this cover um, I did not pay that um, but yeah I thought this was really cool and that's it for to close it out um, so like I said, I will be at uh, Meadowlands Flea Market starting August 2nd, booth 1255. Come look for me. Um, I will have comics and cards and movie posters and junk from around the house and stuff that I just got to get rid of. And uh, yeah, come pay me a visit. Say hi uh, if you're in the area. And I should be there from like 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., something like that, depending if uh, the weather is okay. And, uh, and that's it. Also, check out New High Auctions, newhighauctions.com. Uh, I just listed a third sale. Um, listed so much sealed stuff. Um, this collection that I'm consigning has so much cool sealed stuff. Blasters, hobby boxes, um, jumbo boxes, non-sports, sports. sports um, something for everybody. Um, sign up. Um, uh, and check out the sales. I'll, I'll be posting more every day and I have a big comic collection coming in less than a month um, So I'll have tons of comics up there, but right now it's mostly sports cards um, But please go check it out new high comics new high auctions Dot com sign up now Get in early and you'll uh, you'll get some pretty good deals um, And that's it for now um, like and subscribe uh, my subscriptions have gone up 
a lot lately. I'm so happy. And thank you all for watching. And uh, I'll see you again next time.